The number of deadly accidents connected to big rig tires is on the rise. Some say part of the problem is that truckers are just driving too fast. KCCI's Kim St. Ange is live in Des Moines near I-235 to explain. Yeah, Kevin and Steve, well, this vantage point from school and 8th Street here gives you a pretty good idea of how fast some semis drive on I-235. Well, some people say the problem is that those tires are not designed to go that fast. Driving down the interstate can be a nerve-wracking experience, especially when an 80,000-pound semi truck speeds past you. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, no truck tire is designed to go more than 81 miles per hour, and most are rated at 75 miles per hour. I'm driving up from Kansas City. I would say that uh, probably eh, at least a quarter of the trucks around me were going more than 75. Yeah, they. Uh can make me nervous, but I've been doing this a long time, so I guess I'm used to it. Chris Bartley is a truck driver with Navajo Express and stopped at this rest stop off I-80 on his way to Texas, where the speed limit reaches 85 miles per hour in some areas. He won't be going that fast because his company caps the semi truck speeds at 62 miles per hour if the foot is on the pedal, 65 using cruise control. It cuts down on the wear on the tires. And you won't have as many blowouts that way. Between 2009 and 2013, heavy trucks and buses were responsible for 14,000 fatal accidents. According to government figures, 223 of those fatalities were related to heavy truck tires. Personally, I don't think that trucks going less than 70 is going to have much of an effect on the tires if they're maintained properly if they're quality tires to begin with. Bartley is all for regulating speed and hopes it teaches drivers to slow down. Hopefully it'll cut down on accidents and people will be safe out on the road. NHTSA says it's working on these new tire labeling requirements that would include the tire's maximum safe speed. Live in Des Moines, Kim St. Ange, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.